Jerseys are renowned for excellence in many areas, including calving ease, structural soundness, reproductive efficiency, ease of management, longevity, and fewer health problems. Studies by the Canadian Dairy Network show that 96% of Jersey two-year-olds and 99% of later lactation cows have unassisted or easy pull cabins. Another big factor of the Jersey breed uh, that we haven't mentioned is the calving ease. Um, we try and check uh, all our cows when they're calving and, and try and keep an eye on them and get up at night, but really it's a breed that calves very, very easy. Uh, uh, you, you, actually, a cow can calve within uh, f five to ten minutes uh, of even starting. Uh, the, the Jersey breed is absolutely the best breed and the easiest breed for calving uh, that, w that we've been with. Jerseys also excel at overall reproductive efficiency. The Jersey breed has the highest non-return rates in the industry, along with the fewest number of breedings per cow. This means less time out of production and lower reproductive costs. Cows are easy to catch in heat. Uh, I always uh, like to use the rule of 50-50. Uh, um, you <coughs> you breed, uh, breed within 50 days of uh, calving and you uh, dry off within 50 days of calving. Uh, I find that the cows do better that way. They don't need a long uh, dry period because of our size, they're able to recuperate and uh, be ready for the next lactation. Another definite advantage of the Jersey breed is the strength of feet and legs, which is important on any farm. With their hard, black hooves, Jerseys are less likely to experience hoof problems and will last well on concrete surfaces. The feet and legs, when they're on the pasture, the Jerseys definitely are always first to get into the barn. We notice that. The Holsteins usually come along behind. Uh, they don't move as quick on their feet and legs. And they tend to have a few more uh, problems as far as bruising and other uh, hoof problems. But they're uh, a breed that can stand in stalls and, um, and their legs will be the same 12 months later as they, they were when they started. They're a really terrific uh, leg breed. Uh, very, very uh, few problems with their feet and legs. And that's one of the big advantages uh, of the jerseys uh, nowadays. Many Jersey breeders have noted that they are able to keep vet costs to a minimum due to the overall good health of the Jersey cow. The only time the vet comes is to do vaccination and uh, horn burnings and preventative medicine. We have very little milk fever cases with good management and uh, uh, Jerseys are, are really easy to, cheat, to keep uh, uh, as far as uh, vet costs. For example, in his region, Mario Leblanc of Ferme Fermal has noted that the average vet cost per cow is $206.03, compared to his Jersey average of $80.56 per cow. Vu que le VLR est moins difficile, alors il y a moins de métrite, il y a moins de problèmes après le VLR. La vache est plus facile à remettre en veau, alors. Another big factor is my children work with me, and they're a really easy breed. Uh, for kids to work with, uh, being a smaller cow. I, th I think they're a cow that's um, very intelligent, a cow that's not uh, as, a, as aggressive, be probably because of their size, uh, when being worked with. So it's, uh, I think that's a huge factor, that it's an easy cow for children and, and women to work with, uh, because uh, there's a, a lot of that on farms nowadays, women and children working in the barn, so they're just ideal for, uh, for that. They're a very easy cow to work with. Uh, men, women, uh, young people, older people, anybody can work with them. All of these efficiencies and cost savings eventually combine to affect cow longevity. Several studies in both Canada and the United States have shown Jersey cows to last at least 180 days longer than the industry average. This means less need for replacements, fewer involuntary cold cows, more Jersey calves born, all contributing to lower input costs.